Hi, it's Dr. Dobbins here again at Sweet Tooth. How are you guys doing? Hope the uh, kids, since the last time we, uh, we were here, uh, kids have started school and uh, either hybrid or going to school or um, online. I know a lot of the uh, school districts now are uh, gonna be going back to school, uh, more of a full-time basis or at least a hybrid basis. So I think it's nice, everyone can agree, it's nice to have some normal routines uh, back, in, back in our lives. So um, I do have some notes here that I'll be looking at again. So if I am not uh, looking directly at you, it's because I'm reading my notes. Um, so today what I wanted to talk about and uh, kind of focus in on is children that are nervous, children that have anxiety, children that are fearful, um, see a lot of that. Um, and so I wanted to focus in on that, also a little bit about special needs and the different sedation options that we have for all of that. And so um, we want, our focus, we want children and parents to have an extraordinary experience. That is what is so important to us. And so we know that children have a lot of anxiety. Children have a lot of, a lot of fear sometimes about going to the dentist. Um, and so we wanna focus in on that today and kinda of let you know how pediatric dentistry is different and what we do to ameliorate some of those fears and those nerves for, for your children. Um, last time we talked about COVID, we talked about uh, how uh, we disinfect our different protocols, our procedures about disinfecting and, and sterilization procedures and how safe it is to come to the dentist. Hope you guys enjoyed that. Uh, we still practice all of those hospital grade uh, procedures and techniques and uh, do everything we can to make it a very safe and uh, disinfected environment, uh, not only for our staff, but also of course for, for everyone coming in. And so um, talking a little bit about anxiety um, for the kids, that is probably the number one thing that we see um, in terms of what is scary for, for children coming to the dentist, usually around two, three years old, all the way up to five or six, but frankly, it can be all the way up to eight, nine, even 10 years old. Sometimes you will see that still, and that's okay. It's, it's, I always tell the children, it's okay that you're scared. It's okay that you're nervous. It's okay. Let's see how we can work through this. How do we cope with that? And um, that is probably the biggest difference between a pediatric dentist and a general dentist. General dentists are amazing, working with adults and, and doing all of those procedures. Well, pediatric dentistry, we spend two years in additional training after dental school, and all we do is work with kids. All we do is work with children. All we do is work with um, children under 18 years old, 18 and under, and um, we, we, we learn different techniques, different behavioral patterns, different procedures, different things that work to help kids, kids cope with being at the dentist for 30 minutes at a time or an hour at a time. And um, it's, it's very useful and very helpful. So what are some of these techniques that we use? Well, first thing that you can do as a parent is you can help by understanding the procedure yourself. What are you going to um, be doing with your child at the appointment? And so one of the greatest resources really for this is YouTube, is getting on and looking at some videos at what is going to be happening. If you're not sure, call the office. Um, I send out YouTube videos weekly to parents who request, can you send a video? Can you find a video for me about uh, the laughing gas in the nose? Uh, one that's gonna be like it is in your office. I've even had parents come in before the appointment or at the cleaning appointment and they'll take a nitrous nose with them home so that child can practice putting it on. Um, different techniques um, such as what's it like when they lay down. Here you can see this is one of our benches um, where we do our uh, cleaning exams and you can see we have a TV up top and so a lot of times what will happen is the kids will come in and their first visit, sometimes they wanna sit with mom on this bench. That's okay, that's fine. This bench doesn't have a motor, it just lays flat. And so we don't have a motor that will lay back a child on. Sometimes that can startle them and add to their, their nerves and their anxiety. And so we'll find that in the first visit, they sit with mom. Second visit, six months later, they'll sit on their own watching TV with their head like this. And by the third visit, they're wanting to lay down and watch TV. So we don't always have to do something at every visit. We'll sometimes have kids come in with the moms just to tour through the office before their appointment, and that's all they do. And then they come in and they just sit down. And then finally they come in and we actually do something. So we wanna make sure everyone is comfortable. We wanna make sure that we're adding to the ease of the appointment and providing that extraordinary experience for not only the child, but also for the parent because it's a, it really is everyone working together 
uh, in this. So that is one of the greatest tools is being able to prepare your child through video and helping them understand what they're gonna, what they're gonna see and what they're gonna feel and what they're gonna hear when they go uh, to the pediatric dentist. Uh, tips and tricks, one of the things I think is the greatest thing that we do, there's lots of different behavioral techniques and things that we use, but I really like our tell, show, do, um, especially in our cleaning appointments, which are just the, the first initial appointment or the ongoing appointments every six months. Um, and especially for the little kids, they don't know what's in my hand, they don't know what I'm looking at. So we have what's called a mouth mirror, very small, and it just goes in the mouth. And that mouth mirror, I will let them hold. So go ahead and hold it, go ahead and hold, the, hold this. They look at it, they put it up to their eye, put it up to their other eye, put it up to their nose, and finally, can I look at your teeth with that? And 99% of the time, because we've been very familiar, they know it's safe, I can then do that exam and complete the exam and, and clean those teeth. And so that works really, really well. So those are some of the techniques, some of the things that we do. The biggest thing is we provide the time. There's never a rush. We provide the time and the courtesy and the experience that these children need that have anxiety, that have nervousness, that have fear. Uh, we want everyone to feel like there's enough time always, that they're getting the care that they need. And that's what, what we want to provide as pediatric dentists. And so, um, another, another topic is, is children with special needs. Where do they go? Who's gonna see children with special needs? Well, in the American Academy of Pediatric Dentistry, special needs is actually defined as, as us being the provider, pediatric dentist being the provider. And so we are the, the, you could say, official provider of children with special needs. And again, what is the biggest thing with that? Again, it's the environment, creating a safe environment, creating a welcoming environment, also creating an environment where there's enough time for these children to be seen. And so children with special needs, what we generally will offer is a separate room that's isolated as opposed to an open bay back here, a separate room um, away from the noise, away from the traffic, 7.30 in the morning, a little bit earlier when there's not that traffic, there's not that noise, um, or just before lunch, um, again, where there's not that noise, not that traffic, and so that they can feel more comfortable and uh, parents can feel more comfortable and, um, they can they can get that attention that they need without feeling rushed in a safe calm environment that's really important so um, those are some of the things that we do as pediatric dentists um, other things that we do as i flip my notes here um, we do have headphones uh, we sterilize them obviously if, if patients use them um, we have headphones that we can use um, for our tvs up here um, sometimes children will come in with their own set of headphones and that's fine too weighted blankets um, as, as we know, kind of having a little bit of weight on, on your body, that can help you feel uh, less anxiety. Uh, sensory items such as uh, stress balls, we have different little rubber, rubber toys that the kids can hold or play with. Um, we have certain lighting system, UV lighting with it, that has a, a shorter wavelength of uh, blue light. Um, and so that can actually has been proven to uh, decrease anxiety. So we have all of these features in our office and we've, we've implemented and put these things and invested into all these things so that children, so that your children can feel more comfortable at the pediatric dentist. Just some of the things we do um, to help children and parents have that extraordinary experience. Um, so we really enjoy it. We love the kids. We want them to be comfortable. Now, what happens if still anxiety, nervousness, fear, it's still high? What do we do? Well, there's some techniques. First one, there's four, basically four. First one is laughing gas. Second one is a oral sedation where you drink medicine. Third one is an IV sedation. And the last one is general anesthesia. And so the first two we do in the office um, regularly. We do laughing gas. Laughing gas is a mild sedation and it's kind of an order. It's a mild sedation and we use usually local anesthesia, not always if you don't need to, but this is if a child needs treatment, we'll use laughing gas and that's a mild sedation and that works on most cases to help help children feel, feel less anxiety, less fear, less nerves. And we're able to complete the treatment safely and it's a great experience. The next one after that, if that doesn't work, after that, we look at doing an oral sedation. It's called a conscious sedation or a moderate sedation where they'll drink medicine. After about 10 to 20 minutes, they'll feel a little bit sleepy and then we can lay them down safely. They're conscious, they're aware, they're breathing on their own, but it's a, it's a little bit deeper sedation and we can get get those teeth that need to be treated, we can get that done safely and effectively. Now, if that doesn't work, which rarely that doesn't work, but sometimes it doesn't work, then we have to bring in an anesthesia team to do a what's called an IV sedation or a deep sedation 
or a general anesthesia sedation where another team of doctors comes in and helps us with the case. And that's generally when there's lots and lots of work to do um, that we can do that safely and effectively. And so those are the four levels of sedation, a mild, moderate, deep, and a general anesthesia. And we do the first two regularly in our office, uh, the nitrous mild sedation, laughing gas, and then the oral conscious sedation, which is a mild sedation drinking. Basically, we call it superhero or, or princess juice. Um, and so those are the things I wanted to go over today. Didn't want to take too much of your time, but wanted to be more quick and efficient. Um, took, a, took quite a bit longer last time as I was introducing myself in the practice, but those are the things that we do. We focus on time. We focus on giving everyone the quality that they need, the time that they need, and making sure everyone's really, really comfortable. And those are the things that we focus on as pediatric dentists. And so um, next time I want to talk about diet, health, because that really can play a role um, in, in teeth and getting cavities and staying cavity free more than we might think. Um, different items that you can, or different food products that you, that you digest and put into your mouth and your teeth. And so if you have any questions at any point, please reach out. You can always email me at wayne at sweettoothpdo.com. You can always call our office and say, hey, I wanna to talk to Dr. Dobbins. If I'm available, I'll pick up the phone. If I'm not, I will call you back that same day or within 24 uh, business hours at 913-239-0703. Happy to help with anything, even if you just have a question, even if you're not a patient, that doesn't matter. We're here to help in the community. So if, if you don't have uh, an appointment with a pediatric dentist, get one. It's important to start those regular increments and those, those regular appointments. So with that, thank you for your time. And if I can do anything to help, please reach out. Thanks.